Now I'll tell you what, flavour. Stew. I think I love my stews and soup, you know, definitely. But I'll tell you what, this stew. Mm. No tomato inside it. But I love the way it changes colour. It goes from a dark mustard to a little bit darker colour. Then it goes to a reddish colour. Then the day after it goes to this deep brown, you know, sort of watchy stew looking. Oh, and the full flavours. We're talking about sweetness and spiciness. Ah. Your mom, Joe, this is the channel for you. If this is your first time of tuning into this channel, you're welcome. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button, which means that each time I upload a video, you are notified of it and you do not miss a thing. I do not want to miss you at all. And the notification button, which is the bell next to it. What that means is each time I do upload a video, you're notified of it. And if you like videos like this, yes, definitely you don't want to miss any of those. Now, and welcome to my creative cooking channel, Indudu by Fafa. My name is Fafa, and yes, Indudu means food. Food in the Awe language from Ghana. I'm Awe Anganian, yeah, so it's food by Fafa. But it's not any other food, is that food. Ah, now look how rustic and beautiful this is. And I'll tell you what, the flavor and the aroma in your kitchen is jankasa. Anyway, let's start. So I'm starting with one teaspoonful of my mustard seeds. Yes, absolutely. Now this is readily available in most Asian grocers. So yes, and that I've got my coriander seeds. See, this channel is all about the natural flavors. So we're enhancing the natural flavors of the dish. And we'll use the all natural ingredients as well. And now I'm going to add my cardamom, which is just gonna give it this sweet aromatic flavor. Yes, absolutely. And I love the taste of cardamom. So, you know, you know that this juice is going to be so aromatic and it's going to be balancing sweetness as well as aromatic flavors together. But we're going to balance it well. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I've got that cinnamon stick, which is going to lend its sweetness and warmth as well to the dish. So, you know, you can see that we're building upon the flavors now today. Yes, absolutely. And I've got my red chili of course now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to infuse these flavors into my butter so i've got yes about 150 grams of butter here and i'm just going to melt that now to that i'm just going to add all my spices yes because i'm just going to slow cook them and the oils are just going to infuse into the butter and the butter is just going to absorb all those flavors and also lend its flavors to this so you see, it's just like warming up the spices to just get the best out of it. Now I'm going to come to my powdered ingredients. I've got my turmeric here, as you can see. And then to that, I've got my cayenne pepper. Yes. So I'm just creating some spices. Now, if it does happen that you know, you, you're you missing one of the ingredients so you can't, you don't have access to it, you can omit it. Um, but yeah, leave your comments below and I'll just try and help you with an alternative, most definitely. And I've got some garam masala. Now this is what you will get in most Asian shops. So this is definitely flavor packed. Now, when it comes to the main ingredients, which are your onions, you know, you can be creative with the kind or types of onions that you use. You know, you don't need to restrict yourself to these only. You can use your red or white onions, not a problem. But this has been frying for about five minutes. So I can see that the infusion is definitely taking place. So at this point, I'm going to add some green chilies to my mixture. Now, the green chilies are not that hot in terms of how spicy they are but they just add this aromatic flavor and I'll tell you what the smell alone in the kitchen is so incredible the aroma mm -hmm. is that indudu aroma mm -hmm. so with that I have quartered my onions so I've got two large onions that I've quartered as you can see here and I'm adding it to my mixture so I'm going to mix everything together till it's well combined and what I am going to do is cook this on a very low heat and I've put the lid on and for about 10 minutes it's just going to soften up beautifully you can see on the side I've got my little small pearl 
onions over there and of course I've also got about two large quartered onions included in there so now that this is happening you think that's done oh no so I'm not going to be adding my ginger I haven't peeled my ginger because this is rustic and also I've washed it obviously and I've got my garlic here now the thing with ginger is you know the nutrients are in the skin so if you can leave it that's great now you might go like mm, what kind of sauce is this I'm gonna be blending all this beauty together so just another five minutes cooking on that medium to low heat it's ready now I have blended it and to that I'm adding my oil I'm just gonna add a little bit of butter because I'm gonna be doing some ch cheese with the chad you know if you have more flavors, I put infusion at that. If you have a bona and not to go into a property, hey, at that, yeah, oh, the day, oh, fine, a bear, hey, and I'm a no name quack, a shona. In a bean, a bear in fish, and I can say first one, the way I blend, it will be an ink, oil, a woman, a battle, a woman, a hand in town, is a and bean, and a kind. Uh, spices and kimoni. So I'm now adding my dry spices and what I'm going to do is just fry this for about three minutes on my medium heat. Yet again it's just to allow the flavors of those spices to infuse into the oil. The whole point about this is to enhance the flavors that you do add at each stage. It's you. Mm -hmm. So at this point I can see that this thing has cheered nicely. So I'm now going to be adding my blended mixture. And look at that look how rustic this is now this sauce is definitely one you have to try because each step the flavor has just been enhanced beautifully and it went down a storm you know then again I take my time with all the recipes and there are reasons why I mix the flavors that I do you need to try it you know you would just fall in love with it mm -hmm. so look how yellow is you can see that the turmeric is definitely doing its bit here now, what I do love about this stew is that each stage, the color just changes. So, for some bizarre reason, of course, you, you know, not bizarre, because I guess I've added the turmeric. It's got that sort of mustardy, sort of dark mustardy look now. And then it goes almost reddish later. And then the day after, which is the best time to enjoy it, it goes all dark and rich and flavor packed. It's just incredible definitely so now that i've mixed everything you know me and waste just doesn't work so i did rinse the blender and i poured the contents in there so i've mixed everything so that it's well combined and i'm just going to allow this to simmer beautifully on a medium to low heat for about 15 minutes now do keep an eye on it because it will spit everywhere as well but of course if you do lower your heat then it means you can minimize the amount that it spits out and you know just cover the lid the way i have done here now because the steam can still escape so you can see that is just working beautifully. Look at this. It's just bubbling nicely. And the whole idea of this process is to reduce the sauce content to half. Exactly. So this is almost there. It's getting there. You can just see. Look at that. So you see it was very massive before and you can see it's just getting dark as it goes on. Mm -hmm. After another 20 minutes of slow cooking, you end up with this. You see, at this point, I'm going to be adding my onions to it because there's still enough moisture in the sauce that the onions can absorb the flavors. So you can see this is just simmering beautifully. I'm not bubbling it on a very, very high heat. So you see, I've got two onions that I've quartered and I've got my little onions as well. This is all oniony, you know, absolutely. And at this point, you know, if you want a vegetarian sauce, this works perfectly. But of course, me, I have to add my eggs to it as well. So I'll be talking about that later anyway. But yeah, look at this. So now this is just going to cook the onions, soften it, but not too soft because you still need that texture. And I have got my eggs here that I'm bringing to the bowl because yes, once it just boils for about three minutes, I'll turn the heat off and I'll allow it to just set in that hot water for another three minutes then transfer it into cold water then later i just peel it and add it so you can imagine this you've got the onions that are going to absorb the flavors and you're going to get the eggs as well that's just going to absorb the flavors i was it doing this is not any other food or this been to do now look you see i told you that the sauce just keeps changing its color and to that i'm now adding my fresh bay leaves you can use your dry bay leaves no problem but i'm lucky that my neighbor has got the bay leaf tree so i do have 
access to it. You know, I help myself as and when I do require one. And yeah, so I'm going to be cooking this for another 15 minutes on that medium to low heat. I just want the sauce to reduce, but most importantly, I just want that infusion to take place. So this is the point that you do add your salt to taste. Reason is, the amount of spices that has been used for the sauce actually makes the sauce flavor packed. So you don't need as much salt. So you have to wait till it's almost ready, that you've got another like 10 to 15 minutes of your cooking time. Then add your salt to taste. Best thing is when you're adding your salt, just add a pinch at a time and keep tasting till it suits your personal preference. Absolutely. And so I'm mixing everything together till it's well combined. And I'm just loving this. It's bubbling nicely. And I love that infusion of the bay leaf as well. Thanks to my neighbor and her bay leaf tree. Yes, I've got unlimited access now. I was sitting. You make hay while the sun shines. <laughs> anyway, so at this point, I have peeled my eggs, um, as I mentioned earlier. And I'm going to be adding the eggs to this mixture so I can cook for another 10 minutes on that medium to low heat. That would allow the eggs to absorb the flavor issue. So as you can see, look how rich and beautiful this is. You know when you go to the wache cellars and you see that sort of stew, like rich and dark stew, yeah, that's similar to it. And it's similar in flavor as well. This is like sweet but spicy and it's just incredible. A little goes a long way. It's a recipe that you have to try. So at this point, as I said, I'm just going to allow this to simmer beautifully for about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to be adding my shenanigans. I mean, by now, you know this in Dubai for first cooking channel. You know, if this is like, a, you're averse to onions, then definitely this, is, this recipe is definitely not for you. But here I'm adding some more freshly cut or sliced onions, may I say. And I'd explain why I've done that. So you've got that beautiful soft onion that has been cooking in the sauce for a while. And I've just added these fresh sliced onions to it. So they're going to offer the sauce that crunch. And it revives that, you know, oniony flavor again. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's optional, but definitely needed. Absolutely. And now I look at it and I'm like, nah, I've got to add my colors as you do because, you know, you have to. So when it comes to herbs, the, the last thing that I do add to my sauce or to my dishes because I want to retain the flavors. The point of using your herb is for their flavor. And if you add it much earlier, it means that you lose that flavor entirely. So it's important that it's the last thing you do add to your dish. So I've got my coriander leaves that I've roughly chopped and I've added to this mixture. Now just tell me this is any other food. This is not any other food though. This is the flavor packed in Dubai for first food. Now I was sitting, look, it's ready. I told you it has that sort of reddish look, but I left it for 24 hours and the next day I had it. Now look at this. Look how rich and dark this is. I served this with my cumin rice, which is also a recipe that is available in a previous video. I'd leave all the links in the description box below so you can familiarize yourself with it. I hope I have given you a reason to click the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. This it did job, your mouth good job. And did you have a video? When you have you, Nini, Nona. And a call not coming, Coco, no KG. Hey, we'll be in the bay, we'll be a D. Say, and by Ray Muya, and I say, Mankani, yes, you can use your cocoa yam, but I wouldn't advise you to have it with plantain because plantain is sweet and the sauce is also sweet and spicy. So you need something that counteracts it. So yam and cocoa yam works perfectly. And of course, the rice. This is not any other food in Dubai for far. No, Kevin, Keche, or Keba. Hey, me quivilla. Hey. My notification gag, oh, Kevin. Me, you're called Mosette. Hey, Madame Asio, Madame Banami. Me awake when I done in your low, Vivico, me, me, you know, me, quiet, eh, me, no, darling, me, no, changing, Gaka, a father, and you, me, laughing. Over the cocoa, a chinuga, caca vivico, oh, money, mananama, a vivico, bifima duga, the sacco, and you see a can can and ten miles a day. Eh, me booby,
Naturally, I would leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog, indudubaifafa.blogspot.com. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as indudubaifafa. Do follow me for updates. Until next time, take care of you. This is the life. You have to be happy. You have to put yourself first. You have to learn to love yourself because you are great just the way you are. Each day, make a better decision to make sure your future is better and make sure that you become a better person in future because I love you for you.